Hello. What are you doing here? Seeing as though you're here, you may as well come round with me on a day in the life of a professional climber and business owner. My day starts off at the crack of dawn, 4 a.m. First things first, cup of tea. <laughs> So I'm going to take you through a normal day, like what I eat, where I work, where I go climbing, where I'm training, and we also need to film a YouTube video as well, aside from this one. First things first, we need to eat. Let's crack on. So this is what I usually have, which is muesli and oats. Usually I would have an apple actually, but um, I don't have any apples in the house. So muesli and oats today, oat milk. Um, and I would say this is my usual breakfast. I wouldn't have anything different if I was going to do a hard train session, easy train session. Something light, but not too light. I've got a lot to show you today, so we're going to smash this down, we're going to pack some stuff, and then we're going to head out. So, I'm packing up all my stuff for the day. We need a few things, because we've got a few different activities which we're going to do. Uh, so, training shoes, nice slippers, nice and comfy. You want to be comfy whilst you're training. Brush, training, obviously. Chalk, everybody's chalk. Boots, second pair of boots. Uh, for climbing outside. It's nice to actually have the Velcro straps when you're climbing outside sometimes rather than slippers. Haven't decided yet, so spare pair of boots just in case. Warm clothes, because it's cold. Training clothes, nice and light to make you feel strong. A nice warm jacket for going outside. Water, everybody needs water. And food will get on the way, so let's do it. Laptop, because we're going to do some work as well. Just stopped here at Morrison's. Morrison's is a UK shop. They make everything upmarket, boutique, very nice. Bananas. Uh, treats. The cheese aisle, the best style. It's quite a lot of cheese. I'm going away on Monday, so I just I don't want to buy like too much food. I'm going to the States. States on Monday. And it's probably nicer. It's German. It's German. Bananas and cheese. Bread is next thing. Can they not do that anymore? What? Like the good bread, you know that that like uh, sun-dried tomatoey bread. That looks good. It's, I've been quite into malt loaf at the moment. Sorry. Two bananas, that's another half the malt loaf. It's actually two days. It's actually two lunches that. Here we are at the Wide Boys Lockup. Uh, this is where I usually spend the first part of my day, basically either here or at home, just doing Wide Boys business stuff, you know, emails, marketing, orders, inquiries, whatever it is, Wide Boys stuff, that's me. We do it here. Let's go and take a look. Here we are. Ta da! <laughs> the Wide Boys unit. So over here we've got the freestanding wide boys walls, we've got the 20 and the 40 and you never know, we might give one away at a certain number of subscribers, so make sure you subscribe. Before I get on with any work, let's give you a little bit of a tour around the Wide Boys unit. So this unit we actually share with Dark Ventures who distribute Unparallel. You might have seen some of their products that me and Tom use uh, in our videos that make footwear, um, good shoes. So you'll see a bunch of stuff that they stock as well as the, uh, the Wide Boys products in this unit. Also what people might not be familiar with about the Wide Boys business is actually just me and one more person who run the day-to-day, -day, in and out, everyday activities of what the Wide Boys business does. So let's take a look around the unit and then let's crack on with some work. Let's start here. <laughs> so this is, a, this is a little stand of like products that we have going on. Um, obviously everybody knows the, the volumes. These are our, our new fiberglass volumes uh, with the Soft Grip Pro in them. These are being manufactured at the moment. We have had a few kind of delays on those, but they will be coming in thick and fast very soon, we hope. They'll be kind of back back and going we're going to get those into the gym soon and then we you know we also have our tape we have the crack gloves that we <laughs> we have the crack gloves that we do all the, all, all that kind of um, shenanigans and then we've got some we've got some new stuff coming out actually some crack plates at some point a um, little bit a little bit a little bit secret but it's not very secret anymore is it crack plates anyway they're not out yet but they're coming i think they're going to be a game changer for the root setters it's going to be good crack plates are good i guess some people won't actually know like where wide boys originated from but wide boys actually originated from our crack climbing off whipping days um so it was it was from this trip when we went and did century crack uh, which is this 
really tricky 514 off width route in, in the desert. So it's when we did that and then then we have some ones from our uh, Slender Gents days. So uh, that's when we, we were like climbing finger cracks and cobra crack. And then more recently we have the bridge crack days. So this is actually just within the last year that we were climbing more uh, bridge cracks. There's actually gonna be a full film of this. It may even already be out by the time this video comes out uh, of, of Real Rock, the 2,500 foot roof crack that me and Tom climbed down in Exeter. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. And then this is more your, this is more the unparalleled section and rhino skin tension climbing. So this is what Dark Ventures does. Um, so that's good. <laughs> Shoes. These ones, good for crack climbing, toe rubber. Also good for training. These are the ones I put in my bag earlier. I like those ones. Oh, and these ones as well. They're good. I wear these ones as well. <laughs> these ones are also good flagships. Let's um, move that. Let's go through to, to room number two. Here we go. This is where the real magic happens. Nobody's seen in here before. Lights on. Is this the shipping unit, you know? This is where things get shipped. This is not my, this is not my unit. This is where uh, my colleague, this is, this is his destination. I feel lost in here, you know? This is his room. <laughs> Uh, but we've got we've got crack trainers going on. So these these are the crack trainers. Um, they're really popular uh, that we have. So those are all like the pieces of the crack trainers. They get packed up, shipped out, and then over here just tape crack gloves that are out of stock on our website. So you can't see those. <laughs> but extra large and large. Look, we still have stock. So. Get buying, folks. There's still stock of extra large and larger crack gloves. Everybody's asking about crack gloves. There they are. Stock is left. Wall panels, freestanding walls. This one is going to, this is a pallet that's going to um, XC Sports in Norway. So if there's any Norwegian customers, we have a Norwegian distributor now, XC Sports in Norway. So if you want crack trainers or tees, tape or anything like that, XC Sports, because they have our products. Norwegians don't buy direct from us because it's more expensive. Buy from XC Sports, do it. Stickers, yeah, the famous stickers. Everybody loves this one. Fridays are for fisting. Everybody wants a Fridays are for fisting sticker. Oh, and also I'll tell you what we do have. We have some new product samples just come in. So this is gonna be a world exclusive unboxing opening on the channel. So here we go. I haven't even seen these yet. So this will be quite exciting. So this has just come in and, oh, that's something else, you can't see that, not done yet. <laughs> something else in development. Uh, so this should be some new designs for hoodies. Ooh, this is good, this is good. What have we got? This is the, so this is gonna be the new logo hoodie. Ooh, nice. So this is the new logo on the back. New logo hoodie. I should put that on. Yeah, so these ones are actually only samples. Uh, they should have some tags on here, so the finished things will have some, you know, little taggy things there and a bit more My Boys branding, a little bit more pro. What else have we got in here? Uh, oh, that's it. Oh no. Yeah, all right. <laughs> To see what else is in there. <laughs> no. That's exclusive. That's exclusive stuff. You can't see what's in there. So that is everything in the packing room. And we are now going to, I'm just going to take you through some of the stuff that I do for wide boys in the other room. Let's go and do it. Pete. Yeah. Wait, oi. Wait, no, 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 no. You can't look at those. That's exclusive stuff. Uh, that is, that's new stuff coming out. Can't look at those. But if you think you know what it is, maybe leave a comment. Let's go into the other room. <laughs> Pete, when, uh, when you do that, just make sure you put some sound effects on it. That'll make it look really cool. Okay, so the first thing that I usually do when I uh, start working is just, you know, go through uh, all the emails. So that's, you know, customer inquiries. It could be invoicing. Any emails that have come through, I usually just do that first, get it done with. Then I usually look at like the social media accounts, check those, reply to comments, and maybe do a post. 
and then we have the YouTube stuff. I'll go onto the YouTube account, check how recent videos are doing, check some analytics, answer to all your comments as well. Well, not all your comments, but I'll answer to some of the comments. <laughs> I'll check that the comments are in a good, you know, the, the, things are all, the things are all good. And then maybe I'll go on to like editing a video um, or checking a video that's coming up for the, the YouTube channel. So I think the thing that will be most exciting to you guys is answering a few comments on the recent YouTube video. So let's dig in and see what you guys have said. And then I can reply to some of you. Maybe you're going to get a shout out. Here we go. YouTube, wide boys. So now I'm going to answer some of your comments on our recent video, Crack Climber versus World's Strongest Man events. There are loads of different comments on here, so let's go down and take a look. Uh, from Hidden Sense, thank you very much for your comment. What have we got? Is there a strongman discipline where you can pull a train? I think in strongman they pull an aeroplane. I think in strongman they pull an aeroplane. Uh, but they also have a rope, I think, which they grab, which I didn't have a rope. So I'm kind of, um, I think my downfall was that I didn't have a rope and that's why I basically couldn't pull a tire. You know, <laughs> I think I'd be able to pull a plane if I had a rope. <laughs> it's in the arms then, isn't it? It's in the arms. Oh, this is from Timmy Experience. Love the miniseries, top quality content. Love seeing when you try to do hard. How much strength training do you normally do? I was super impressed by your attempt on the 200K on the farmer's carry. Well, thanks. <laughs> I couldn't even pick it off the ground, so cheers. <laughs> Thanks for that. How much strength training do you normally do? Probably... Uh, two sessions a week of weight training. So yeah, I, I'll probably do about two sessions a week of weight training. Um, and I do... I do weight training as more like cross training because it's obviously like you want to make training climbing specific so you want to do a lot of climbing but also you want to work those muscles outside of climbing and you also want to work the antagonistics as well so that's kind of what I do with my weight training is more like working those muscles which are in opposition to your climbing pulling muscles usually about two sessions a week. So another question here from Andrew Gilbertson I feel like I recognize that name from a, a regular commenter I think so thank you very much for commenting and watching all the time uh, this is when are we going to see Dan climbing uh, me and Dan have actually talked about this quite a bit so it hasn't quite worked out yet because Dan's been coaching the Stoltman brothers and he's been doing like world's strongest man and stuff with those guys and my schedule hasn't quite matched up and I'm going out to the states for the real rock now he's coming back so we're gonna have to wait for the wait for the crossovers to align and then we'll be able to get some crack climbing done together this summer Sight. No, that's not how you spell sight. <laughs> the summer. Sight. <laughs> Give that a little reply. Was that the sound of my spine at 9 minutes 54? Should we take a look? Was it the sound of my spine? I don't know. No, I know what that was. I know what that was. That was the tacky that we used. So I put a strong man tacky on my forearms, like the, the sticky stuff. Pete, maybe you have some B-roll of that. So basically I had this tacky, I put it on my hands. It's what strong men use on the forearms. That was the tacky coming unstuck from something, probably, I don't know where it was coming unstuck from, but that wasn't my spine. Ha ha. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, that's enough of answering some comments. That honestly feels so wrong because, like I said, it's just me and Mark running the wide boys business, so usually we're, we're kind of grafting away, you know, getting, getting stuff done. But we've got some climbing and we've got some training to do. We've got another YouTube video to film. But before I show you any of that, I am psyched to announce today's sponsor of the video, which is NordVPN. Climbing takes me all around the world, and sometimes on rest days, it's good to have access to things like Downton Abbey, uh, I mean, uh, inspirational climbing films. I can also access more documentaries and series about other sports, which helps me get psyched. NordVPN can access the content I want wherever I am in the world, and I have the added security when I'm using public Wi-Fi. At the moment, I'm actually out in America on a big climbing trip, and I don't really have access to my own Wi-Fi, so the majority of the internet I'm using is at public Wi-Fi spots. 
So with NordVPN, I'm confident I'm not going to get hacked and no one is going to take my personal data because of the added security that NordVPN offers. Recently, my Shareg solo film did stream in the UK and if you're in a different country, you weren't able to watch it. But if you had NordVPN, you could log in as if you were in the UK and access this content. So that's definitely a little added bonus. So I highly recommend using the link nordvpn.com forward slash wideboys, which is in the description and pin comment of this video. You can get a two year plan plus one additional month free with a huge discount. It's risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. It's lunchtime and uh, we are getting ready for to film the YouTube video. So here is Pete, <laughs> setting up the setup. We're setting up here to film this YouTube video and then we're gonna head out and we're gonna do some climbing and then we're gonna do some training. So, smash on. Come on, Pete. Tell them what you're eating. Uh, they already know what I got from the supermarket. This is a normal lunch, eating when I'm hungry. <laughs> so this is gonna be in another video, not in this video. This is a video that's documenting a video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below and we will see you in the next video. And that is another video on its way, starting to get filmed. We're gonna head out to the crag now and go and do some climbing and training. Let's do it. So we're at Stanage Popular End and this is the first climbing session of the day. We are here doing a sort of mileage technique session. We're gonna film it because that's gonna come out in another video. So we're gonna film it and in this video, we're gonna sort of show you behind the scenes as, as we're making the video and as I'm doing the, the technique, climbing, stuff. <laughs> uh, so we're really lucky today actually because it's a, a really nice day. Uh, the sun the sun was just out, it's just nipped back away now, but it's a nice day, good conditions, ready to um, ready to get some mileage in sight. Let's do it. I might have a little snack first actually. <laughs> have lunch. Now we're on crag snack. The best this is the best crag snack. What I always like about uh, these soaring loaves is I like the end bits actually. Um, like if you could have a whole soaring loaf that was end section, that's that's what I'd have. Like I would buy that. It's like the hard squidgy bits. It's so much, you know like, you know like the crust of a loaf, of a loaf of bread is really terrible. Nobody likes the crust. Oh, I'm not like a massive fan of the crust, but the crust of a saurine, it's a different thing altogether. Totally different kettle of fish. Um, very psyched on it.
So we are about six routes into the session and uh, how we're doing it is we're also filming another YouTube video as we're doing this climbing session. So I'm basically filming with camera on the helmet in POV style and then we'll do some routes afterwards without the helmet on so Pete can get another angle and then he's also filming um, some long time-lapse shots down there. There he is. <laughs> In his element. Um, and it's, it's, it's quite nice actually. It's nice being out. Um, I honestly haven't done that much soloing for a while so it's actually good to uh, get some movement in and actually um, climb on some rock again because I haven't done that for so long so that is definitely good before this trip I found a good little perch here to uh, view from so I think I might head uh, I might head down there for my down climb head down there and then come back up through that nice looking chimney down there that's the plan of action Oh, I recognise this thing. This thing's pretty horrible. I'm not going down. <laughs> I'm not going down that one. <laughs> I'm going to go across there. I remember that chimney. It's very green. Uh, so now we've just finished that session, the sort of like technical moving session. Uh, I feel good about that. Glad I did that one. And now it's time to go and do a bit more of a physical session. So we're going to head back into Sheffield. Um, I guess I would usually either do like, you know, a crack session or maybe some sort of kind of session at the wall. I think I might go to the wall today. Go to the wall, maybe do a few laps, a bit of endurance. Because I feel like Indian Creek is going to be endurancey. It's also going to be cracky. So you would have thought I would have gone and done a crack session, but I feel like I've done so many of those in recent times, a bit of endurance wouldn't, wouldn't go amiss. That was a warm up. So the plan now is to do a bit of a circuit sesh. And because we've been outside, I'm really cold. Um, and I've got a bit of a funny elbow, so um, I actually just need to like warm up a little bit, get the blood flowing, because the blood wasn't flowing so much outside. So basically, this is the circuit board, and there's all different colours, different grades, um, and you can either do circles or figure of eights, depending. Um, and then basically the, the grades are here, so what I did there was just the easiest one, um, 6A+, plus, and then you know they go all the way up to 9A+. Plus. I don't think the 9A plus has been done yet. I was speaking to somebody the other day, not sure that one's been done. Um, and then you can also do link ups here. So like double green, double yellow. Yeah, there's some like good, there's some good link ups to do. So I think today what I might do is um, try and do some uh, reps of double yellows and double greens. So 8A plus and 8B plan, but they're, they're pretty soft. Pretty, pretty soft. <laughs> How long do you leave it between like, bits? Oh, everybody always asks this, like, our oh, training times, you know? I'm not good at like this whole training time thing, as in like, I oh, give it three minutes rest or I give it one minute rest. Uh, I don't really know. Like, I think for these ones, because they're like a little bit, the ones I'm gonna do, they're a little bit harder. So like, 8A, 8B, whatever. I'll probably give it like a good, you know, maybe a good five to 10 minutes, definitely, because you want to be recovered to make sure you actually have a good burn at a hard circuit. Good. It's not very useful for people, is it? <laughs> I'm gonna do one lap of the 7B plus to warm into it. That's the plan. warm so when I'm resting I guess this is the time that I usually catch up with some sort of like a social media so here we are on, on the wide boys Instagram answering your messages sharing your stories 
spreading the crack love. Oh, look, there's somebody in, somebody in a concrete crack. I'll share it. <laughs> my, my social media is basically just, it's kind of like whatever comes into my head. And I, I also like really sharing things from the community as well. So like other people um, tagging wide boys and that kind of stuff. I, I, I like sharing other people's stuff because it's, it's just helping spread the, the crack love. I always try and give people a like as well. It's not letting me though. <laughs> I think the plan now is to do maybe uh, a yellow. So that's 7B plus 7C or a double yellow. That gets 8A plus, but I think it's probably more like 7C plus or 8A. Maybe 8A. It would have been harsh. <laughs> well, we'll do a yellow. We'll do a yellow lap. Maybe I just know it too well now. I'm not sure. Should do a double. There we go. That's not too bad. So what was that? That gets. That's double yellow. It gets 8A eight plus, but it's very, very generous. It's, I think it's more like 7C plus. 8A at a push. Push. At a push. Um, but I think maybe I should do double green. That's definitely more tricky. Should try that one next. That's more like a. It says 8B on here. I should just take the grade. I mean, why not? <laughs> why not? Doing myself down. I'm not in the cellar anymore. Uh, probably take five. 10 minutes, I think, because I want to make sure I have a good go at the next thing. So now it's like social media time. <laughs> Back to work. Crack action. Uh, so I'm going to do double green, gets 8B, supposedly. Um, so we'll just smash on with that, see what happens. I should try triple green, I've not done that before. This bit's a little bit tricky over here.
a good link. Triple. Yeah, that's a tricky one, especially coming across the the bottom on the uh, the third lap. Should have gone. For, should have gone for quad. It would have been a fight, I think, on four on go four. Wow, that would be hard. Orange, green, pink. So I'm going to try something potentially a little bit harder. This is double orange. Not tried double orange before. So I've done orange into green but not tried double orange, so we're gonna try that. <laughs> I reckon this one probably could be 8B. I mean, it says double green is 8B, but we've already discussed that that is, it probably triple is 8B. So I think double orange could be 8B, but it's more powerful, shorter but more powerful, not my bag. And there's not many rests, there's no rests. But I'll probably try and find some, because I like resting. Well, I went quite deep on that last pump, so I'd say my chances of success now are probably I'm not very high actually, probably 50-50. But I think if I tried double orange before triple green, then I would have I would have gone 75% chance of doing it. Because I actually felt alright on that triple green. I think basically on the orange. Oh no, you can just fall off anywhere on, on the second lap, I think. Shall I just go for it, see what happens? And let me just remember the sequence. So it's that match. That, cross, that, 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 match, crimp, that, that, and then it's gonna get beefy. because it's uh, powerful. Can't tic-tac your way across this. <laughs> Does anybody spot that one? <laughs> Told you I'd find some rests. This up bit's gonna be pretty tricky. I honestly wasn't expecting to do that on that second go, but the old, uh, <laughs> the old rest, that saved me. But I hadn't even thought about that until I got to it. So that was good. Yeah, double orange, yeah, I'll put that. You know where you do that thing and you're just like, 
uh, shake and then grab it just before you sort of like coming off that one and then like shake uh, and then grab it just before you're coming off that one. <laughs> just do a few warm downs and then might just do double yellow and then call it a day. They're shooting in 10 minutes, so yeah. Just smash around this one quickly. So that is basically a day in my life. That's what I get up to. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other questions about what's going on, leave them in the comments and uh, see you in the next video.